Hi guys, just another quick video to explain how to format an SD card or USB as FAT32 over 32GB of storage. I've got a 64GB SD card and a 32GB USB to use just as an example here. If I try to do a quick format on the SD card, you'll notice I only get the option for NTFS or XFAT. Because Windows sees this as being over a certain capacity, it always assumes you don't want FAT32. But devices such as a Raspberry Pi or emulators like the Retro Game 350 require the SD card to be formatted FAT32. If I quickly check the 32 gig USB device, you can see all three options are there. But not for the 64 gigabyte SD card. So what you need are a couple of tools. I'll leave links to both of these in the description. The first tool is simply called SD card formatter. That is just a handy and quick tool to format SD cards or USB devices. The next tool is called FAT32 format or GUI format, which as you may guess, formats to FAT32. First thing we want to do is to give it a quick format using the SD card formatter. Always triple check you select the correct drive. In my case, the D drive is the 64 gigabyte SD card. It's also why I have disk manager up in the background so I can check it's the correct drive. Once you've ran that, you will see a quick summary of the format. If I check the properties, it's configured XFAT. So we now want to use the FAT32 formatter tool to change the file type. Again, always check it's the correct drive label. And when you're ready, press start. You may sometimes get this error, which I'm glad popped up so I can demonstrate how to fix. One option is to remove the SD card or the USB device and connect back and see if it works. But the easiest way I found is to run a quick format again in here. Then if we try once more, it goes through. Now if we check the file system, it shows us FAT32, which is exactly what we want. Then you can use this for whatever device you need to, in my case the Retro Game 350, to use as an external SD card for all my games. And that's it. I hope the video was useful, and if it was, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.